friends welcome to Avi's blog so today I'll be discussing with you uh, if you are over stays to United States how you can still get the green card so stay tuned to my entire blog to know all the answers okay so you know I create the immigration blogs every day to day basis and I help you guys to support your situation so today I'll be discussing with you about the green card and all the matters regarding the overstays right so beautiful america i i say welcome to america if you never came to united states apply for the visa legally i encourage you to come to legally in this country but if you after coming to united states if you overstays what can be your situation here you go okay so let's see what are the rules and regulations for the overstays? Let's see, you came to this country legally. Let's see, on the visit visa, you came to this country and you got a visa for six months. So how the USCIS or the government people will know that you are overstays? Or how you can check that you might be overstays for a couple of months or a couple of days? You have to know the situation because you have the i94 i94 is the place i will be giving you the link the web link so that you can go online and put your credential and you can get all the um, details regarding your i94 so if your i94 i94 is telling such a date and if you are more than that date that means you have overstays or other way around if you are seeing that your i-94 is still saying some more date but you did not overstay that means you did not overstay right it's very simple check out your i-94 to know about your situation is very simple and see the description uh, link i'll be putting on there to know about the situation but now let's see what are the rules and regulation if you are overstaying in this country what are the ban and what they will be doing about your situation let's see you got a 6-1 visa and you stays for one week means seven more days then what is the rule is if you are overstaying less than one year okay less than one year if you are staying more than uh, your visa that means you will be banned for three years okay you'll be banned for three years three years my friend but if you overstays more than one year then you'll be banned for 10 years you cannot come or you cannot get a visa for 10 years 10 more years is pathetic I know that so I always encourage you guys to come to this country legally come real way do not do uh, illegal way just come legally and stay whatever your i-94 is telling do not overstay okay because you will be getting a ban right so now let's see the the rules regarding the um, legal entry and illegal entry illegal presence so let's see undocument or legal entry how that happens is let's see you got a visa for six months and after coming to united states your visa is no longer valid right because you already passed six months right and you did not put any extension so that means you are overstaying this country right and what gonna ha be happening they will be try to uh like catch you they will deport you or might be this situation going to be happening like you'll be going back to your country by yourself right in that case you or status is undocumented because you do, do not have at this moment any document to stay in this country right but you are staying in this country that means you are in a condition means you are undocumented per person right very simple but now what is the illegal entry illegal entry means let's see you do not have any i-94 ever let's see you do not have the i-94 the link i gave you you put your credential but you do not have any i-94 record that means 
you did not came to this country legally so that government does not have any record about your student visa or any record your about your tourist visa or your work visa because you just came to this country illegally means you might be crossing the border illegally you might be coming by the boat this situation can happen my friend so those people call the illegal entry and illegal presence right you are clear about the illegal entry and illegal presence okay so now what gonna be happening if you come to this country illegally can you get a green card or what are the way to get rid of this situation or what is the ban for you let's see if you come to this country illegally then you gone back to your home country within 180 days within 180 days you gone back to your home country okay then you are allowed to apply again for the visa no problem at all you'll be allowed to get a visa from your home country because there was no record and they will forgive you because you went back within 180 days this is uh, applicable to the illegal entry people not for the legal people you if you came to this country illegally but you gone back within 180 days Th then when you go back to your country you are allowed to apply for the visa or you are allowed to apply for a green card no problem at all so there is no ban but if you stay here more than 180 days then ban will be same as before i discussed three year or ten years is it clear my friend i think you will be able to understand what i'm telling about the illegal presence and illegal entry and undocumented people right now how you can get a green card reg uh, regardless overstaying people or illegal people let's see you came to this country legally but you overstays but now you realize like okay i like america and i like to stay in this country forever i need a permanent residency i need a green card how you can do there is still the way you have to hire a lawyer means you have to hire the attorney and if attorney is telling yes there is a way definitely you can uh, apply for the green card if the attorney is telling no you cannot then you cannot but there is the way you need to discuss if your immediate relatives allow you to apply for your green card then you can do who are the uh, immediate relatives Let, let's see your parents is the green card holder or your parents is the united states citizen right that case you are allowed to apply for a immediate relatives who else are the immediate relatives as well let's see if you are uh, uh, the if either uh, your children can apply for you when you are in this situation so either your children your husband wife means like your spouse can apply or your parents can apply or your brother sister can apply your brother sister is also your immediate relatives and they can apply for your green card even you came to this country illegally or you came to this country legally but you have overstays so is it clear my friend but there is a easiest way i always tell people that if you marry the united states citizen you can immediately get a green card as a temporary green card for two years that's okay but you can able to get the green card okay but you can definitely discuss with the attorney about the complex matter right and if you overstays in your situation definitely your situation can be even complex right in that situation as well you need to talk to the attorney uh, there is many other way I always discuss and I always gonna be giving you the right way I never um, suggest you to come to this country illegally or overstays but if this is the thing happened to your situation talk to your attorney because there is many other way like you can apply for your uh, green card through your employer you can also ask for the asylum right you can say like okay my country is a threat for my uh, staying so i cannot go back to my country if you have the enough uh, proof that your country is a threat for you then you can get a immediate 
temporary green card that will be valid for some time and in between with using the AP advanced parole you can visit your country so there is many other way as I discussed like you can marry a United citizen uh, or you can uh, get a sponsorship by the work or your student visa uh, university obviously if you are applying for student visa after your illegal entry or after your overstays for your uh, undocumented situation definitely they will be putting a ban but you will be able to go back to your home country and then you can apply there is no problem but if you as I told you if you come to this country illegally or if you are overstays means you have a uh, undocumented situation still you can talk to the attorney and attorney can give you all those way as I discussed so if you like my video today today's video was a little complex but I think I'm able to discuss with you the easiest way to get the green card okay if you like my video today please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe and God bless America bye bye for today